Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of Mechanical Mastery. And it's been a little bit. It's because I had an episode recorded and um, I have no idea what happened, but I had horrific mic noise. Um, it was like a high pitched squeal. I have no idea. But uh, unplugged everything, plugged it back in, everything works fine. But we did uh, yeah, kind of lose out on stuff. I finally changed out that striped cobble. And I've upgraded our power generation, so we have three gas burners going now. Uh, three cloches, growing wheat. Uh, we got wheat going into this drawer here where the seeds are going to go over here. And after 32 stacks, it'll start voiding them. And then, here we go. From here, it goes into the crusher. Crusher pushes it into the pressurized reaction chamber. Substrate is going over here. Ethylene is coming out and going into these three gas burners. who are then pushing all their power into this plug here. I should probably upgrade this, actually. Although, I mean, <laughs> this one's not even running, so... This one is. Okay. Uh, universals, they can only handle 3200, or... Yeah, 3200. Okay. And you are... Yeah, okay. So we have two of them running right now, partially. Um, let's see, steel production's doing good. I would. I'm not sure if I'd put it off on camera or not. We have an ultimate energy cube. This is noisy as hell. I need to get away from that. Um, you know, I'm going to cheap out. I usually don't do this, but. Because there's muffling upgrades. There. Just, yeah. Quiet things down a bit here. So, um, we'll get to the system here in a second. Uh, let's see, I don't think I've really done anything else different here. This is just for manual crafting stuff, so. Uh, I did make three more pedogenic insulators, and they're all growing boom shrooms, so did help a bit with our uh, gunpowder situation. We actually have extra gunpowder finally. So uh, and down here, I've got a couple of uh, electric pumps for mechanism feeding into ender tanks. Triple blue is for water. And that's how we're getting water over here. I need to probably make another ender tank. And... And we're almost at a string. That's unfortunate. Go, actually, do that first. There we go. That way I remember to do the uh, ender tank. Uh, let's see. Yeah, triple blue for these. Matches up with our orange for the uh, lava. Which we're currently not really using a ton of lava, so it's okay. Uh, you are not doing a thing, are you? There it goes. Now you are. Got to uh, turn the, the tank on. And then over here, we're doing good on refined fuel. <laughs> but I need to be able to get the stuff out of here, so. And then over here, I started working on a mechanism fission reactor. And, yeah. Oh, well, these machines here. These are all producing different uh, alloys, right? This one's producing our advanced alloy. Uh, this one's making the reinforced. And then the atomic. And this setup here is just making the uh, refined obsidian dust. That This is then enriching in, yeah. And I think I've got it over here. Yeah, here we go. And we're up to 50 atomic alloys right now. So, not doing too bad. Actually, um, do 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 at drawer. I want a stack downgrade. Do I have flint over here? 
Yes. Okay. Not much, actually. There's a few things that I actually just have, like, nothing of, like, no resources. There we go, and... Hmm. Content sealed within. Yeah, we can use one of these, I guess. And you. There we go. Upgrades. I think those content sealed within drawers, they have the illumination upgrades in them is why they're uh, separate. And let's go ahead and get ourselves maybe like an iron upgrade. Four? Yeah, that works. I need iron. Okay. And... Grab a couple extra because you never know. There we go. So if I apply both of these, you and then you, there we go. It'll only hold four stacks. And that's not good there. <laughs> Zero. Uh, the reason why it's not good is this will try to hold 256 stacks, which actually is fine. Uh, I've got unlimited redstone and iron, so it's not a problem, per se. It just means this machine's going to be running for an extremely long amount of time. Which, yeah, yeah, we can deal with. So, this thing over here, this beastie. All right, fission reactor casing is just steel casings plus lead. Gets you four of those. I am going to need a fission reactor port though don't think i'm going to need the logic adapter though All right why are you there i never did make it the lapidary did i hmm. should probably do that kind of all right so we need though circuit Oh, that's atomic. Nope, nope, wrong one. Uh, you. What I should do, actually, is... Just grab some of those. And then I'll grab some of these. Uh, that way I just have some to craft with. And... We need one of these, which means we need one of these. And... go. There's our elite control circuit. I'm actually going to need another one. Oh, actually I had, cool. Okay. Didn't remember that I already made some. Because we're going to need a total, I think, of four ports for this thing. And it will do over here, I guess. I need water in and water out. Uh, fuel in and waste out, right? Well, water in, steam out is the other thing. Um, I also, though, I'm going to need some of these fission fuel assemblies. Which need chem tanks, okay. Uh, I think I figured I need 10 of these. And then we need lead. Okay. Uh, lead. So, you and you. There we go. And we can get rid of that now. Um, man, it's a whole bunch of stuff in here I've never really done anything with. Uh, do 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 do. So, vision. Not quite. 
Excuse you. I swear he died before I swung. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to argue with that. Uh, it is control. That's what I need, right? Yeah. No, no. Control out of something like these things here. So I need five of these. Okay. That's uh, relatively easy to do. Just going to grab those. There's five and five. There we go. And steel. Okay. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Steel's been going nuts. Nickel. I really, I haven't really needed nickel, so I haven't done a lot of that yet. Should probably get something going to get nickel going, though. Okay. I'll tell you, flight makes this so much easier. Just be able to pop in and out of the reactor like that. All right, so if I was to then seal this up, All right. Disable, burn rate zero. Um, you know what? Set rate. Rate limit 0 0.1 millibuckets. Okay. Can I go? Yeah. While I'm doing this, I don't want to, like, I don't want to blowing up on me and having a meltdown. Just, I don't want to deal with that. All right, uh, and we need we need to actually make fuel though too is the thing, right? So I need all this stuff, and these are ultimates. Great. Um, yeah, I've got a stack and a half. All right, let's go ahead. First things first before I forget. Uh, enter tank. Dang it. I really need to just consolidate all my, uh, my storages here. There we go. Uh, enter tank. Enter chest is what I needed to make, actually. Just grab two of these Pranakas. That's all I need. All right. You... I did want the inner tank tonight. Dang it. Man. <laughs> I hate it when I screw up like that. Hey, I got it right this time. Okay. Because I want to take... Let's see. You're needing water as well. So what I could do, though, is just that. And then we can do that. Throw you down there. Set you to auto output, so this will keep filled up as well. There we go. Grab some pressure plates off the ground now. I haven't checked on this in a hot minute. Eight. Okay. And stack and a half of plastic. Okay, cool. It's not a, a pass system, but it's been running for long enough that it's really just not, you know, not a problem. All right. Um, right. So centrifuge, right? Let's get you. Let's just grab a few of these. And grab some of that. We'll, uh, just grab those. And these are not speed upgraded at all or anything, so. Now, wasn't there like a quest here? Okay, I already did it. Okay. Yeah. Should have noticed that already. Uh, what do you, do you need? Okay, I still need those two to get the rest of that. Okay. Uh, right. So. So I need two of these. Hooray. Right. And 
I'm good. One, here we go. One, two. One, whoop. Two. Trying not to sneeze here and it's not working. There we go. Ah, oh, just everything comes to a halt whenever I have to sneeze. It's just annoying. Okay, we have our centrifuge. All right, we need two oxidizers now, which means I need dynamic tank. Okay, so uh, we can get rid of that and that. Probably that as well. I uh, don't need that around anymore or that. Get rid of that, that, and that. Right. And probably going to need more of those, actually. Hmm. Dang. I'm just looking at, thinking about everything here. It's just like, that's going to be a hassle. All right. Oh, hey, Cole, I do have a couple of dynamic tank, thing, tank bits. All right, so oxidizer, we just need personal chest. Okay. Which, since we have quark, there's like 10 billion different boxes we can get, so... All right, so it was the oxidizer, right? Chemical oxidizer. So I need that. And of course they don't stack, but okay, it's fine. One, two oxidizers. Uh, we need three infusers now. And a dissolution chamber. Oh, and a condensator. Right. Oh, this is just tons of fun now, isn't it? What are we missing? We're missing just a basic blue tank. Okay, that's easy enough then. So rotary concentrator done. Uh, let's go for the infuser next, I guess. Oh, dang. Ran out of tanks, huh? Never had redstone. Hmm. Just thinking about hooking up into the uh my storage drawers over there. Ah, cool. There is just enough room. I thought that pipe was going all the way across and it was a jag, so that worked. Now, everything over here is locked, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. So the concentrator was the infuser that we were working with. Okay. One. Do those. So I just need one more infuser now. And then we're going to need this thing. So I need an osmium compressor. Oh, great. Do, 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 do. I should have everything, hopefully, enough. Uh, let's see. Osmium compressor. No, not you. You. And then I need this stuff here. No, no, this stuff. Stack of osmium. You can go in there, you can do that. And now we wait. All right, and, well, there's our nine. So, you, I just need a couple ultimates. Okay. Nope, wrong one. 
to those, and then we can turn those into the ultimate control circuits now. And chemical dissolution chamber. Hey, look at that. And that gives us 20,000 EMC and some experience. Okay. Can give me a regular one, though? I mean, you at least give me an improved for doing all that. All right, so we need the reactor port and efficient fuel assembly. Ah, you blasted the thing. Okay, um, not that. Uh, this. Thank you. All right, there's that quest complete now for the fission reactor. And let's see, bring that back up. Radioactive waste barrels, all right, cool. And XP, nice. Needed for future quests, okay. And then turbine, right? Which we could get by without one, but uh, turbine's internal power buffer gets full. It will stop cooling down steam, which can result in a bad time if you depend on that steam being cooled for your reactor's coolant. Again, just search a tutorial on how to build a good turbine. Yeah. Uh, I think I'll pass for now. Right, so I've got work ahead of me now here, right? Oy, stuff, right? So let me go ahead and do that. And we'll put some of the stuff away that I don't need. Let's just go ahead and put these guys in here. There we go. Do I have my chisel? No, it's in here then, right? Uh, you. There we go. Oh, that's right. I don't have cobble in a barrel or in a, in a drawer. There we go. You, mossy, chisel all. There we go. And want. There we go. All right. So I guess we should probably start this uh, little process up. Uh, we've got pipes right here, which is actually perfect. You can go here, right? Mm. You know what? Let's set you up here. There we go. And you will get a retrieval module for uranium. And now let's see. Ah, stupid thing. Get in there. Stay put. Input. Thank you. Hey, look at you go. Right. Oh. Goodbye, Mossy Cobble. Oh, well, let's see. Um... Oh, bugger. God, I do have a link if I need one, which I might. Um, don't have any points, though. Here. But that will make us yellow cake uranium. So now yellow cake, we can chemical oxidize the uranium oxide, which we then combine with hydrofluoric acid to get uranium hexafluoride. Now, hydrofluoric is a... It's a thing all by itself, right? Chemical dissolution chamber, sulfuric acid and fluorite equals hydrofluoric. Sulfuric acid, yeah, it's it's a long chain. That's what it is. Um, do I have any points in here? I do not. Really? All right, what do I need for you? Just obsidian, okay. Thank you. Didn't notice I didn't have an eye vendor. <laughs> oh well. Um, okay. And there we go. Boom. Okay, now we're out of flux, so I'm going to have to make more of that here soon. But that's okay. I can just do that. 
grab four of these for now. And you go here. Power. Very good. So you are making yellow cake. So I'm just going to have you automatically eject to the right. Let me grab my cables, right? Don't think I'm going to need to worry about the advanced ones right now. So we'll just use, you know, regular basics. Go here and yellow cake was oxidizer, right? Yeah. So you. Well, that's the sound I got to get rid of right now. All right, but we have uranium oxide. And now this needs to go into an infuser, which is this guy right here. Hey, look at that. Everything's working like I want it to. So now the hydrofluoric comes from the dissolution chamber. Boom, like so. And you're going to need fluorite. So let's get you like that, right? And now the hexafluoride or becomes fissile in the the isotropic or no, it's just isotropic. Okay. I don't know why I wanted to call it the isotropic, but oh well. There, right? And so you get power as well. Hey, look at you. Oop. Give. So this needs, uh, let's see, we've got that taken care of. That's taken care of. We need you. Oh, yeah, actually, that's taken care of too. All right, so sulfuric acid comes from an infuser. We need water vapor and sulfur trioxide. Okay. So... Chemical infuser. Let's have you face this direction. We will put our rotary condensator here. Nope. We'll put it right here. There we go. This is going to need water now. And there. I need fluorite, which. That's a question, right? How am I going to get fluorite? Okay, fluorite ore has an EMC. Okay. So that's a bit of a given how we're going to get fluorite then, right? We just have to process the ore up. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and grab one of those for now. Uh, right. How are we... How are we going to process it? Enrichment chamber looks like we'll give a six per. Right. This thing does that every once in a while. It'll just. It'll pick you out a couple of items whenever something gets full. Like. I didn't put uh, stack limiters in here, and I probably should have. But oh well. Here, you can have those. Since they were probably trying to go in here here and bounced so how much obsidian do i have right now eh, okay but this is all full we're to 186 of these and we're 60 ish so we're doing good um right so enrichment chamber then one of you thank you Uh, hmm. Could just set it up right here, actually. First things first, you go here. You are going to be output the bottom, input in the top. Right? Although, 
Well, you're doing the obsidian right now because you're getting it from the system. Mechanism machines can't um, auto pull. So just have to remember that. You go here and get our basic link down. Put it right here, but I'm just going to uh, disconnect that. Input in the back. All right, cool. And do I have cat retrieval? There we go. Extraction. Yeah. You're going to be extracting from down. And there you go. Oh, slight problem, actually. Dang it. Power, right? So how about we do that instead? I can put a cable there so it has power. And we'll put our link down here. And you'll extract from the west now and... You're doing that. There we go. And then these are all medium extract. Hmm. Well, look at you. Are you actually extracting that out? No, because you don't have a home to go to right now. Uh, hmm. You know, I could just go ahead and slap it over here. There we go. Now we should see this extracting. Yep, it's empty. So let's go ahead and pick up this mess. Dang it. I need to get the uh, stack limiter upgrades in. The, it's going to get really annoying whenever I actually start doing a lot of crafting with this stuff because, yeah, I'm going to pull some of this out and then it's just going to, whenever it's refilling the drawer, it's going to puke a couple more onto the ground and, yep. You get this and you're going to retrieve that. And then, so you know what? We're going to move you. Oh. Yep, okay. Over here, we need our sulfuric acid now, which means we need water vapor and we need sulfur trioxide. So that's chemical infuser with oxygen and sulfur dioxide. And then dioxide is an oxidizer with sulfur dust, which I need to automate. Dang it. I haven't gotten rid of that either yet. I have to figure out a way to get that done. So we have our oxidizer, we have our infuser. Let's put you here. I actually have to use a tube here because I need to have access to more sides of this machine. Oxidizer. Here we go. And you are just going to retrieve... Oh, God. Um, east. There. And then this one will have to get set up, set, you know, something different here. But uh can make it work. And that. There we go. And then this side, we're going to need oxygen coming in, which means we need an electrolytic separator as well. And I'm going to need water and yeah, there's, there's stuff. 
need string apparently. So enter tank blue. Uh, we need the electrolytic separator. Oh, hey, that thing. Nice. Add next one. So you will be, say here, right? Now you need water as well as you. And that means we can go ahead and put that right there for now, I guess. Uh, we need mechanical pipes. Uh, do do do. Nine, is that all I have? Hmm. Also, I'm going to need the configurator. Oh, no. And condensating? No, I want to decondensate, which just makes so much sense, right? One thing I do like about mechanism is just like the names that sound kind of made up, but they're really not. Hmm, power, yeah. Hey, look, water vapor, and it's going in here. And then you are going to need the sulfuric acid. Okay, that's full of uranium oxide already. That's, that's not bad. You're not doing anything. Okay, so let me go ahead then and get that hooked up, right? It's kind of nice just watching the items zip around, but it's not pulling. It's not getting the fluoride yet, which should have by now, you would think anyway, right? Oh, well, uh, we will work on that later. Uh, you are my separator, so you get a mechanical pipe as well. And that definitely needs to be muted. And you are low on power. Okay. Oop. Nope. There you go. Okay, burn time of one, <laughs> one tick. Energy energy density, 80 Fe per millibucket. Okay. I did set you up the right way, right? East chemical dissolution chamber versus the oxidizer. Um, Probably the back side, actually. Yeah, I think it's the back side. Yep, there it goes. Okay. Um, all right, well, that's taken care of anyway. So we got that going. I could have requested fluorite blocks, but eh. I don't think it makes any difference on the amount of sulfuric acid you end up using. So, And I need uh, chemical tanks now. Hey, look at that. And you go here, you are hydrogen. Okay. So you are going to dump excess. And this would be our oxygen right here. 
It means we need some tubes. Uh, basic pressurized tube. Yep, here we go. Place on top. That's mechanical pipe. Dang it. Oh, let's not uh, vein mine that, right? That's uh, going to make a mess if I do that. And to do these. You need uh, gas top as input. Oosh, there we go. We have oxygen coming in now. Okay. And so you just need sulfur now. And are you the front over here? This side here is the front, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So gas. Right. Uh, item. Anything? Anything but the back. Okay. Sulfur. Right. We need a good way of getting sulfur. Uh, we can get thermal sulfur from sulfur ore, which unfortunately does not have any MC. Right. We can get it from pulverizing stuff. Okay. So I probably have a decent amount of sulfur right now. But yeah, I've got 649. That's not quite going to cut it. All right. So thermal sulfur dust. Um, just pulverize sulfur. Okay. We also get it out of the fractionating still. There is immersive engineering sulfur, which only comes from the crusher. Okay. Mechanism sulfur, which need oxygen and water. I love how it says, except any Minecraft water, and it's like cycling through all the create stuff. Um, right. So, okay. And that'll give us excess hydrogen that we have to deal with. Probably this is what we're going to have to do. It's another uh, another PRC here. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. And I think I need to keep those up there. I mean, we could do, we can do the dust. Okay, this produces more hydrogen to use uh, block. Gives you a free bonus 100 millibuckets. Hmm. All right, so we need another PRC, which means I need two more tanks. I need an enrichment chamber, and I need a dynamic tank. All right. You. And you. There we go. And we just need oxygen and water, which I've got both of those down there. Got water right here, and I've got oxygen right here. So if we're doing sulfur, then I'm going to want this, like, right there, maybe. And let's go ahead and do that for a second here, anyway. And you're set up to automatically export to the right anyway. We'll just turn that on. Uh, let's see. Cable. Done. So now it has power. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves uh, coal. Not charcoal. Yeah, well, I got 9,000 coal. I mean, 
should probably step that up, actually, in that production. Uh, no, not extract. Uh, retrieval. Dang it. Every, it seems like every pack I play, the mouse wheel moves in a separate direction. It's just kind of sort of unfortunate. Okay. Let's go ahead and get you back out. There we go. You go here. And you are going to be retrieving coal into the PRC. You can go here now. And you are hydrogen, so that actually works out relatively well. Relatively well, right? So let me go ahead and get our tube up here. There you go. You're getting oxygen. Awesome. Now you just need some water. But we're also going to run this like so. All right, and outputting waste gas out the back into this tank over here. So now I just need water, right? And I can run a pipe around over to here. I would have to... Yeah, no, I'm just going to make another ender tank. So I need... One of you, I need four of you. Uh, ender tank, that right there. Beautiful. And since I have this down, I can just, well, not down, but that I just do that. There we go. Uh, we are going to mute our PRCs now. Okay, it's making sulfur. Very good. Uh, you are going to. Yeah, you should be inputting on the left. You should be outputting to the right. Hmm. Why are you not? Oh, because that's the back. Okay. So then, um, gas config, your front is going to be output. All right. And you are currently. Uh, let's see, gases. Here we go. Putting in the top. Is that it? No. No. Okay. Why are you? There it goes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Then, well, you should have. Yep. Okay. Right. I'm really curious. Where is... Oh. Dang it. it. This ran out of oxygen, so the tube was empty. And... Okay, well, first... No. You... That'll drain it out. Now it's full of oxygen. So then I can... Nope. Back to you. Thank you. Put that like so. And it just filled up with freaking sulfur dioxide again. You... I should have disconnected this first, right? Okay, now you're full of... Well, not full, but... Now it's switched over to oxygen, so I can hopefully now switch it 
back and it won't do the thing anymore. I am going to need to speed upgrade this thing though. Because, yeah, this is actually using more oxygen than. Well, this is gaining right now currently, so. Hmm. All right, so I got some speed and energy upgrades in here, and energy upgrades do jack with a uh, electrolytic separator still, which is annoying because you can put them in here, but this thing still running at full speed takes 20,000 RF a tick. Not cool. All right. Um, so I need a basic pressurized tube to go here. We'll just make sure that you don't connect at all. Um, can I just like pull from here? No. Gas front is output. There we go. Now we have our water vapor here. We've got our sulfur trioxide. We're making sulfuric acid. So I believe this is the front here. So we'll go here. Oh, it's not the front. Um, where is it? You are probably uh, gas config. Yeah. There it goes. So. I'll set you to output. God, it got noisy all of a sudden, didn't it? But hey, we've got fissile fuel. And now, fissile fuel, we can turn it into these pellets by adding fluorite dust to it. Which is why I just didn't hook up the fluorite down here. Or we can use it in the uh, fission reactor. So, purification chamber, huh? Okay, well, let me go ahead and add that in. Which for the quest book, that's what it wants us to do right there. But I'm also going to need uh, byproducts later on. Because I need uh, polonium and plutonium. But that'll be a future episode. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until the next, this is Science signing out. Have fun.